Hello, this is question two from the Cambridge International Exams from the winter set of exams 2019. You can find a link to the image of this question in the description below. I recommend you pause the video now and attempt to do the question first before watching the solution. Part one of the question asks, um, if this absolute value equals this absolute value, what is x? That's what these two lines are, it's the absolute value. So it guarantees that it's a plus number here. So it's very difficult to work with um, these, these absolute values. So let's write it out without this. That would be great. That would be easy to do, except it's not true. Because the absolute value says this is always plus. I don't know if this is plus. If x was minus 100, this would actually be minus. Whereas this would still be plus. So that's a little difficult. So we're not quite able to do this. But we remind ourselves that we are able to do something to both sides of an equation. Um, and in this case, what I will choose to do is, because it will work, <laughs> is to square both sides. Now, in this case, this will equal this squared. This is true, because um, let's imagine these were two positive numbers, 2 and 2. Well, 2 squared equals 2 squared. Now, all I changed when taking away those absolute values was... I changed it that now it's possible to be a minus 2 instead of a plus 2. Well, minus 2 squared and plus 2 squared are the same thing. So this squaring both sides has actually got rid of that problem, that one might be minus, one might not be. So let's uh, try and solve this question now. We'll just square out both sides. Uh, the left side will come out as 16x uh, squared plus 4x's uh, uh, plus 4 5x's. Our uh, 20 plus 20 are 40x plus 25. And on the right side, um, this is x squared minus 7 um, is minus 14x and then plus 49. So let's clean all this up. Uh, we'll take everything on the left side. We'll keep the x squares positive. We don't have to, but I like that better. So let's take this from both sides. We'll get 15x squared. Um, we'll add this to both sides, we'll add 40 and x to both sides, we'll get 54x and uh, we'll take uh, this number from both sides and 25 minus 49 I believe is minus 24, that equals 0. Uh, what goes into all of them? I think 3 will. Let's see if we can make this a little smaller, um, x squared plus... 3 goes in 18 times. Double check this with a calculator. If you're not good at doing this sort of thing in your head, I'd be lots of practice at it. Uh, it goes in minus 8 times. I still make mistakes. Um, yeah, I think I don't think I can get that any smaller. Let's hope this factorizes nice and easily. Do I have the answer somewhere? I don't have it on screen. So maybe it doesn't factorize nice and easily. Okay, uh, two numbers multiply to get 8 that will interact to get this. Let's see. Um, how about 2 and 4? 2 and 4, no, not quite. Oh yeah, 2 and 4, this is actually a minus, so we need to, the difference to be here. So a 4 here and a 2 here will work. I think 4 times 5 is 20, minus 2 will get us to 18. So that's a minus and that's a plus. I think that works, this all equals 0. That implies that 5 is equal to 2 over 5, so x I mean, x is equal to 2 over 5, or x is equal to minus 4. So that is the two solutions to part one. Um, let me rub this out and we'll start in part two. I actually left the answer from part one up here because we're going to use that because um, part two looks very difficult. We could do the same, a similar type of way. We could square both sides. But the thing is, we've already done all the hard work because this looks a lot like this. Um, in fact, if we replace um, x as to be equal to two to the power of y, this will start looking very similar. This is the same as this, 7, 7, 5, and 5. This is the only one slight problem, uh, but it's not as big of a problem as we might think. Um, so because we take, let's just take this one down here and have a look at it. Plus 2. Remember what the plus 2 means. That's 2y um, multiplied by 2 to the power of 2. That's just equal to 4 times uh, 2 to the power of y which is, if we replace 2 to the power of y with x, is identical to this as well. So this sum is actually identical to this sum, but instead of getting an answer for x, we would actually get 2 to the power of y is equal 2 over 5, or we'd get 2 to the power of y is equal minus 4. 
Now, this second one gives us a little problem in that 2 to the power of, well, there's nothing, 2 to the power of um, anything doesn't, will never give us a minus 4. There's no number that will give us that. Uh, once, when y gets bigger, like it goes from 0 up bigger, like 2 to the power of 1, to the power of 2, to the power of 3, the number will get very big. And when it's a minus number, 2 to the minus 1 is a half, 2 to the minus 2 is a quarter. It will always get smaller and approach zero. Uh, if we look at a little screen there, um, let's see, it will look like uh, this. It will approach zero, but it will never get down here into the minus four world. So this will ever actually never happen. So we can ignore that possibility. Makes it a bit easier. And the question gives us one more clue. It said, hence use uh, using logarithmics. So we want to use logarithmics. Um, <laughs> I can't pronounce the word, I apologize. Um, to solve this. So how do we do that? We just need to get rid of this 2 and logarithmics do that. Uh, if we take a log to the base 2, 2 to the power of y, and to be fair we have to do that to both sides, log to the base 2, 2 to the power of uh, 2 over 5. So again we're just doing the same thing to both sides, but what a log does is it destroys the base of a um, exponential like this. If this number and this number are the same, this will destroy this. And I'm just left with y equals. This is, just says now y equals. Um, I don't have much room, but let me rub that out just to make that a little clearer. y equals this. This can all be put into a calculator. And with the magic of editing, it has appeared in my hand. Um, if I type in log to the base 2, and inside the bracket 2 divided by 5, and I hit equals, I will get um, this number y must be equal to minus 1.3 to how many decimal places they have? Corrected three significant figures. One, two, three significant figures. And this two is closer to a two than a three. Okay, so that is our full answer. And let's just double check this with a bit of common sense. Two to the power of minus one. Um, well, we got, let's go through all the numbers. Like two to the power of one would be two. This guy is less than one. Two to the power of zero is one. So this is definitely a minus number to get a number less than one. Uh, two to the minus one is a, is a half. Two to the minus two is a quarter. This number is somewhere in between that. So that's why we got 1.32. All right, so that's um, both parts. If you have any questions about any of that, please write in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.